In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make bed slats for a Class C motorhome. One of the major issues with Class C motorhomes is the bed above the cab is sitting on an unvented area. So it can be a spot where mold and mildew will accumulate under your mattress. The first step is taking your measurements and I've designed this as a four piece setup so that each piece is easily removable and they all vent out to the middle part which is the most open. The material I'm going to be using for this is two by fours and I'll be making the measurements on a chop saw first for the length of boards that I want and then I'll be running the two by four through a table saw and cutting half inch thickness pieces. So these are all the boards and now it's assembly time. So for my main piece I have five long boards and a bunch of short boards that are cut to the length that they need to be for the entire width. Then I place the longer boards with an equal spacing between them. In this case, it was four and a half inches. And I've dotted the ends with some construction adhesive. That's what's going to be bonding this entire uh, project together and place my shorter board on top. And I do this on both ends to just square off this entire operation. And then I use a factory type method of placing all of the short boards down, putting construction adhesive on top of them, and then just flipping them over. And what I did was two and a half inch gaps in between the short boards on top. And this will give enough support on the mattress for when you're laying on it, you don't feel the gaps, but it's also when you're not laying on it, the mattress is gonna spring up and have this airflow underneath of it. And the next step was constructing and putting together the side two pieces, which are essentially small squares of slats. And I've measured so that there's enough for the middle piece to go back on and have support on either side so that the plywood could sit on top and not slip off. I used half inch plywood, which will flex when you're laying on it, but it won't break. It's very, very strong. You can do um, three quarter inch, but I did half inch so that these slats on top of it would be half inch and everything would be perfectly level. And all of the slats are designed to allow for the middle piece, which is the only piece getting air on the outside of it, to really infiltrate underneath all of those slats so that you actually have airflow, that you haven't built it in a way where it blocks uh, the majority of the airflow off from itself. I also took these inside, gave them just a rough sanding and applied two coats of lacquer and the reason for doing this and not just leaving them as raw wood is the moisture isn't going to just go away right away. It could build up uh, in the crevices and cracks of this wood. And if this wood is untreated, what will happen is that will turn to mold. And so if you just do some nice uh, treating on there, allow it to really dry, you can avoid the slats themselves from actually getting uh, fungus growth or mold and the lacquer will allow the water to sit on top until it can evaporate and the system can work how it's designed. So here is the mattress sitting on top with the adequate airflow and essentially this will save you a bunch of time from having to lift your mattress and put something under it and, and you're not going to essentially destroy uh, a very expensive product in your van which uh, mattresses can be quite expensive so you know, you want to protect that. And this is an easy way to protect it and allow airflow underneath your mattress. 